What up, guys? It is Promotions. I am Corey, and I'm Jer. And uh, today we are going to do part one and three of our old school video gameplay because uh, we actually had somebody give us a recommendation to do older games because he's a big fan of the uh, classics. The uh, joust it was. Actually a co-worker of ours, which is kind of cool. They're supporting us. But uh, what we're going to do here, there's a twist on these games. As you can see, there's the Galaga. Original. And then this is the, the one with the twist on it, which is actually two players. So we're actually going to do this one and it's uh, competitive so uh it's going to be completely scored and uh it tells us at the very end of the round who has the most points we died actually the ducks points and uh yeah and we were actually having a discussion earlier about old school video games and how i loved them a lot because when i was sm smaller i had a nintendo original nintendo yep. nes which is why i'm really happy oh snap i won that one <laughs> Well, we were, I was really happy when I heard that they are actually bringing it back. They actually have the uh, brand new NESs out, which I would totally fight someone for a copy of Duck Hunt, <laughs> even though I probably wouldn't have to. Pretty, probably readily available. You're like, hey, uh, I have the channel promotions. Can I please have your copy? They'd be like, oh, what? Oh, yeah, here you go. <laughs> so I just come in, just <laughs> <laughs> my Duck Hunt now. <laughs> this has been my plan all along. Uh, but we were talking about difficult games. Galaga is definitely one of them. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, bullet bullet hells. Yeah. Uh, which is games where you have to just basically shoot everything inside and dodge bullets like crazy. Which uh, a lot of them are, are uh, I believe they're bigger in Japan, to be honest. But uh, well, I can't I can't say Japan alone, but probably probably more uh, popular on the other side of the world. Yeah, because uh, in America, in America, we love uh, the first person. We shooters. like we like guns and stuff, and and you know bad language and video games and zombies. Well, I like bad <laughs> language. Period, man. It's fun. I mean, I guess it gives some kind of elements of the game, but I, I prefer just. You know, if it's a shooter game, just let me pop a guy in the face real quick. <laughs> <laughs> some on some um, um, assassin stuff. Yeah. That, though I, I, I kind of liked Hitman. I can't say I really liked it, but it, it was all right. There's some really good moments, man. Just like the fact that your kills can be very creative. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some poison in your soup and then watch you eat it from across the room. Like, that kind of stuff is actually pretty innovative, but for me, man, I like building games. It's weird. When I was younger, man, I used to want to destroy everything. It's like, I'm blowing this up and I'm going to shoot this. <laughs> and then I kind of, like, mellowed out when I got older, and I was like, you know what? I just want to build things. Right. I mean, uh, I, I, I really liked, uh, see, I never got into Mortal Kombat, Dang but it. I did like, um... The, the arcade Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, like, yeah, like arcade games where it was like a platformer and you had to be, like... I forget which one and why. I don't want to say it, it was Mutants in Manhattan, but, uh, no, that, that, that can't be it. But it was, it was basically the arcade one and you ended up, like, going in the sewer. There was a surfing level and then... Oh, wow. Uh, and then, you, you know, you had to fight things while in the water and then you had the boss fight at the end of each level. And it was pretty cool, but uh, like I said, I never. Other other than that, I mean, other than Centipede, which I really love Centipede, uh, these really are all that I play, like Big Doug, Pac Man. Well, Jerry, let me go ahead and do a quick advertisement. If you want older games, there's Video Game Rescue in Jacksonville, who is a provider of old games, and they also have an arcade as well. So, um, you guys out there who like older games, check it out. There's no endorsement for, the, for that mention. <laughs> I know. We didn't, we're not getting paid, but if we can throw us some swag, that'd be dope. Swag. Put in a bag. Some, some swag -oo. Bag swag. Bag swag. Hashtag bag swag. <laughs> but, uh, you know, speaking of old games, uh, drop a comment. Let us know what, you, what your favorite old games are. Uh, yeah, I guess you can go as far as like Mario, because that's probably one of the most classic Oh yeah, it's one of the ones where uh, doesn't matter what age you are, you can you can play it and enjoy it. Especially like uh, the the newer Mario's, man, they're incredible, man. Like a uh, very difficult though. Yeah, like a uh, Super Mario uh, Odyssey. Is that the new one? Odyssey? Oh yeah, the one I switched. That that was different though. It's not like classic 2D side scroller Mario. Well, I did like a uh, Galaxy a lot. Galaxy is one of those games that's just so trippy, man. Like every environment is just beautiful. It's Mario in space. Oh yeah, I think one of my other favorite uh, old school games would have to probably be 
right now. I'm thinking about it. Let's see. Well, Pac-Man is always great for uh, oh yeah for arcades, man, because you only have to pay 25 cents, and I actually am very good at it now. Like, I can actually probably get through part one or act one. Well, and if anything, uh, we are actually going to be playing a two-player Pac-Man version. Which, oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not really the same maps. Uh, they do kind of look like those, like give tribute to the older ones, but uh, it's made pretty cool, actually. When you get into the later levels, it's like a... There's like different things you actually get to do to get through the other levels rather than you know going off the side of the screen there's actually like different ways to travel and there's also another secret that i'm not going to spoil about the game because uh, i don't want Corey to be ready for it oh yeah it's always <laughs> better to see me when i'm surprised as you see my true self come out like for instance uh horror games oh yeah that's gonna be fun uh, I, I was actually getting upset earlier. Uh, I was playing Plague Inc. If you haven't heard of that game, it's basically you just create a virus and you try to infect the whole world with it and then kill everybody. Uh, I know it sounds fun, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but it's very positive. Oh, we both got a game over. Uh, but basically, uh, I was playing it and I'm on the part where you're using a fungus which travels really slowly. And I just couldn't beat it, no matter, like, I, I was on normal. There's three levels, I was on normal. And um, pretty much, I dropped it down to easy because I couldn't beat it on normal. And even on easy, it just wasn't spreading fast enough for me to be able to beat it, which was really aggravating. <laughs> and then I was finally going to beat it, and then my phone dies. So yay, that's good. That was, that was great. I was like, this is, this is fun times. So And my phone even died while it was charging. So that's the best part. Yeah. It is a really fun game, and uh, the thing that's crazy about the, the the era that we're in is that you can pretty much game on any type of a uh, console at this point. Like tablet games are incredibly fun. Same thing with uh, ugh. same thing with phone, your phone or consoles, man. Like, oh man, that was a close one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, like uh, the fact that you can play all these games is really incredible. Like, if anything, I would really love to do uh, some more uh, games that you can get on Android or uh, on a. Uh, on an iPhone, like for instance, this War's Mine is actually readily available on all kind of platforms. Same thing with a lot of Telltale games. It's actually on Switch too. Yeah, Switch yeah. as well. Uh, the the ones it's, it's about the kids though, which is actually really interesting. Yeah, I actually downloaded that one on a uh, Amy's tablet, and uh, nice. we've tried playing it. It's really hard, dude. Because think about oh, it, yeah. kids can't really do too much except uh, get food and get sick. Yeah, and get sick. <laughs> yeah. So you just feed them and basically play with them. But other than that, they're kind of pointless. Kind of like kids in a real war situation. I remember the first time I tried this war of mine. Uh, actually, I gotta take left. that comment back, man. I think some kids are actually deadly as hell when it comes to war. Like, I think I saw this one thing where it's like this kid was like 10 or 11 years old. And he actually took out like several German troops during World War II. Well, it's because they're not expected to be able to do anything. So they get underestimated and completely. Yeah, and then that's when they put two in you. Alright, sorry, Jerry, didn't mean to cut you off. We better say. That's not good. Uh, I was just saying, last time I played this war, or the, the, the one time I played this war of mine, I was doing really good until my main guy got an injury when I ran into some, some bandits in a, in a place I was going to look through. And um, so he, he basically took a, took a shot, and uh, he survived the shot, but he got sick because of it, and I ended up dying anyways. And then my old man, he left us, and the lady ended up getting sick and passing away. Yeah, and and, that, that game is really difficult, man. Yeah. Like, I never realized how difficult it was until uh, me and Amy played it over and over again. Like, I think uh, at one point, the longest <laughs> the longest we survived was, like, uh, 44 days. And we thought that was amazing. We're like, man, like, we could have totally went longer. Ah. And then we tried it again with the same type, type of people, and uh, we ended up dying, like, fairly quickly. I think day 21. And then, like, next time there's 30, there's 35, and so on and so forth. I think I think that's a really dope game. You guys should check it out. Uh, also, Scribble Knots. I was talking about that earlier too, and that's a really what? fun arcadey type game. Because it's one of those games where you don't have to necessarily pay attention to the story. It's just like they give you little challenges, and you can use whatever you can think of to uh, you to, to complete challenges. Like, say for instance, they're like, "Hey, can you get up here?" I'd be like, "All right, I'm gonna make myself a hot air balloon, and I can make myself a hot air balloon." Because the game is that advanced when it comes to recognizing what you type in. I'd be like, Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they have name brand things uh, necessarily. That would be pretty dope, though. It would give me wings. I kind of want to have, like, an adult version of a Scribble Knots where it's, like, real-life situations that you need to solve any way you want. Like, you'd be like, hey, get this girl to hook up with you. 
<laughs> you're like, all right, well, like, how can I do it? You know, you have creepy dudes that'd be like, GHB. Then you put in their drink, you'd be like, ha ha, I did it. <laughs> Me, I'll just like type in like a uh, romantic poem. See if that works. I like stare. <laughs> <laughs> just stare at him until she says something. And they're like, uh, you failed. Good job. Yeah, you gotta come with. Uh, uh, you know what? A lot of people probably type in money. You know what? It will work. <laughs> like stacks. Give me 500000 And you just drop it in front of her. And you just see the little check. Ding, ding. You did it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you got right. <laughs> Let me take your fingers off the stick. Ah, oh, he crashed. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, again, I think it's a sick idea, man. Like, uh, Joey from Iron Edge is uh, listening, man. You should make an adult version of Scribble Knots. It'd probably take forever. But uh, it would be worth it, man. You'd get rich. Because... I feel like just sometimes I type in things just to see if they'll pop up. Especially gross stuff. I'm not even going to tell you what, I, what I've what i typed in scribble knots. Like, to the point where I was like, wow, why would I want, want to use that? It starts with a... Is it a rotten a, apple? Well, it starts with a D and it rounds with Kildo. <laughs> I typed it in and uh, it didn't pop up. It's, it's a family game. That's probably why. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. I missed one. Yeah. I was trying to concentrate. Get right. Oh, yeah, but like Jerry said, uh, tell us what arcade games you really like to play. Yes. Uh, I like pinball, ski ball, personally. Like old school uh, gaming is pretty dope for me as well. Oh, I also forgot to, me- uh, forgot to mention the uh, co-worker that uh, gave me the idea uh, to play these games actually is a fan of the game Joust, which is really fun. Uh, pretty much you're, you're on an ostrich and you jump on other ostrich riding riders' uh, heads. <laughs> and uh, pretty much, I, I, I'm probably wrong about the description, but there's also eggs and you do that. And then, you know, you just... Uh, there, there's also burger time. No, root beer typer is good. I like root beer typer. <laughs> serving root beer all over the place. Oh, yeah. You gotta run from counter to counter, just tossing root beers at everybody and sliding them down the counter. If you, if you do it too early, you'll fall to the floor. And pa- Paperboy, man. I, I kind of like Paperboy, but it's so hard. Yeah, it's incredibly hard. But that was another one that I think I played one time on NES. Before I played a really yeah. crappy game that I thought was scary, but turned out to be junk. It was called Friday the 13th. About Jason. And I was like, um, man. What? Friday the 13th. What system? Man, oh, yes, yeah, man. They actually had a, a Friday the 13th game. I borrowed it from a friend of mine. And then ah, I think, I, to. I think like a day later, I was like, yeah, you can have this back. <laughs> I just lost all my points. Like, uh, no. It's all good. Let Corey shine. Oh god! But I don't think okay. it's as bad as uh, ET. That's one of the games that are definitely okay. like notorious for being uh, just crappy. It's the shittiest game ever made. Like it's funny because I think somewhere in New Mexico there's actually like a hole in the desert that's stuck. full of like hundreds of thousands of copies of that game because they didn't have a place to put it. Uh, I just real quick want to apologize for all the lag you see in the game. It's because... Uh, it's an emulator. Yeah, the emulator is not exactly uh, 100% good uh, running, and I'm also using OBS streaming to record. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of running a lot right now trying to do this, but hopefully... Come on. Get your head in the game. Get hopefully. Your head in the game. <laughs> hopefully. Um... It's, it's well enough to where you'll be able to watch it peacefully. If anything, you just enjoy the conversation. Oh, while well, I get wrecked. Oh, man, space worms. Why well, space things gotta try to blow me up, Jerry? Just, just because we're space invading. Uh, okay, that's bad. Right? That's what I'm sorry. It's like, uh, here's a cease and desist. <laughs> cease and desist. <laughs> Just come after it. You hear bang on the door. Well, speaking of space evaders, the new arcade machine for it is really cool, man. Cause it has like a little laser cannon that you can fire at it, man. Not only that, that game is uh, trippy as fudge. 
wreck these guys. I hope you still have it as a plan. Ah. The focus is real. Oh god, this part. Oh, I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Uh, perhaps if you guys can guess what where, what cartoon that's from. Oh, I'm nauseous. The one on the TV. Well, it's about a wallaby. Nope. <laughs> no idea. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I should have stayed in the center. He's finding Nemo's. Wall wallaby Way Sydney. <laughs> P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way Sydney. Garrett's. The focus is real. Yeah, we got quiet real quick. <laughs> anyway, you got a line of alien creatures flying down towards you. I know, right? Yeah. I don't want people to think I'm a noob, man. <laughs> I mean, the, the way we've been playing so far, we're, we're pretty much probably already labeled as noobs. Like, you guys are I ain't noobs. no dang noobs. You guys are scrubs. Man, I, scrubs. I feel like I feel like Cool J when I say, don't call a comeback, man. I've been here for years. Bam. Before you guys get your Ooh. first Xbox, you know what I was doing, man? Donkey Kong Country. Man, you guessed. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> he was right. Which, actually, that's a really difficult game in itself, oh, man. Oh, DK Jr. I, I beat it, but, man. Well, the thing about it is your hand-eye coordination has to be perfect, man. Otherwise, you were gonna, you're going to you're gonna fail so many times. I don't, I don't think I've ever beat Donkey Kong Country. I've gotten very close. Oh, Country? Yeah, yeah. Country is hard. I was talking about DK Jr. climbing the little ropes. Oh, yeah. You're talking about like, the, the classic Donkey yeah, Kong. Yeah, That's yeah. actually a pretty fun game. You know what's weird about that game, man? Uh, Mario had a girlfriend before uh, Peach. Yeah. Yeah, Pauline was is her name. And that was his first main squeeze before he uh, cheated on her. And then he went through a, a messy divorce. Yeah, he had an alcohol problem. And he cleaned himself up for Super Mario. And uh, DK was the Bowser <laughs> of that era. <laughs> Always stealing Pauline, climbing to the top of the tower and banging on his chest a little bit. And Mario, like, man, why are you take my, trying to take my lady, man? Get your own. That's why he's not surprised about Bowser. He's like, all right, Bowser, I've been through this before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mario knew exactly what to do. He's like, I need to sober up. He's like, damn it, I need to start going after princesses. Because every time I do, some giant freaking creature, some some mutated creature, always wants to come after them. Man, I'm surprised he didn't just, like, a king didn't just walk up and was like, Yo, Mario, thank you so much, man. All right, well, we're out of here. Yeah, where is the king? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Princess Peach is there. Why is she a princess if there's no king or queen? Where's the, where's the, where's the rest of it? Yeah, where's the royalty of the Mushroom Kingdom? Or something? Nah, man, I think Peach took him out doing a coup. Right. She was like, Toad, get him. Like, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yoshi do it. <laughs> <laughs> He eats them. Throws a bag. Yeah, I don't even think I can imagine Yoshi being militant. I can. Cause eh, well, after you see Super Mario Bros. Z, man, Yoshi is sick. So but he, sick. But he lets Mario punch him in the back of the head all the time, dude. Just like, pow. He's trained. He's well, well trained. Maybe Peach, maybe Peach is the one that trained him. The thing about it is, you don't even realize when you're a kid what he's doing until you get older. You're like, dude, he is punching that dinosaur in the back of the head. <laughs> Yo, eat that fruit, pow. <laughs> See, that's what happens. I take my hand off for a second. Yeah, right. yeah, but he, he straight like checks them, dude. He's like, bop. I right shot you. Right in the back of the head. Got that Jerry close up for a second there. You tell me you ride a horse and you punch in the back of the head. Would people be okay with that? No, absolutely not. You'll be labeled as an animal abuser. And that's what Mario is. He abuses animals. He abuses Yoshis. And gorillas who happen to be bigger than all other kinds of gorillas. That's, that's a gorilla's fault. <laughs> uh, these out for Harambe, everybody. Rest in peace, man. It's been a whole year. Harambe. You will be missed. Aw, oh, man. Only <laughs> yeah, well, final stage. Beat King Gasparks. Alright, let's do this. Gotta this destroy game. the biggest bug. This is the real bullet hell part. And we've been doing bad, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna die like 50 times. You guessed it. He was right. Ah, yeah, he was oh, definitely right. Damn it, now I gotta reset. 
Carrots, carrots. Damn it, I tried to go through. The coin keeps resetting me. <laughs> oh god. At this point, I'm just randomly firing. Ah, uh, I didn't see the little one behind the big one. You guys cheated me. Man, I'm kind of like a. God. I'm missing more than strong no, right no, now. No. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Ah. I mean, getting one of those big guys would be kind of a good idea because you get, you know, bigger bullet. How did I hit you, but it hit me? I used it as a shield. I was like, sorry, Derek. <laughs> I was under you. I was under you. Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm trying to focus on this big guy. I'm taking out real quick. Ooh. We both shot him. Nasty. Ah. You sure as hell was about to take both of us. That's what I get for bragging. Damn it. Uh, free shots. Pop. Oh. Pop him. Pop him like a balloon. I got this guy. Oh, I don't do that. See, that's all we're just gonna do terribly. Pop him, pop him, pop him, pop him, pop him. <laughs> he popped you. He popped you like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> don't use what I said against me. That's not fair. Oh, uh, dodge your head like a mouse. I go ahead and play some sad piano music while I look away. Hey, you wasted the life, so now I gotta restart. Give him the heater, Jerry. I'm about to give him that flame, son. Oh, what? I didn't go that far. Dude, I gotta reset again. Are you kidding me? Uh oh, did you get him? Did you get him? Nope, not yet. Yeah. Dang, I died like 80 times already. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. He died. Oh, uh, I'm the only by one. By himself. I am the true survivor. Yeah, all those other ships that were blowing, those are just mirages. Alright, those are just mirages. I was, this... I was in there like, Shadow Clone Jet 2! <laughs> and this is why I'll never be a fighter pilot. Uh... I'm just gonna go ahead and take a sip on that. I'll be in the cockpit like, Do what now? Do what? You have cleared all zone. And... Beat Gallus Sparks Army. Thank you for playing. Ooh, punk ass, mosquito ass, looking ass, <laughs> hornet slash. What are, what are all these notifications popping up? Like, whoa, bored with your background? No, just go away. Leave me alone. Presented by all right. Namco. Namco. This is Namco Museum. This is Galaga, the new one with the twist of the two players doing the thing with the whatnots. And this has been Bro Motions. Thank you for watching and thank you for all the support you guys have been giving us. Uh, parts coming later. Uh, this part yes. one, we're going to have two and three uh, shortly. So. We're going to be doing two player Dig Dug and two player Pac Man. Yep, yep. So, everybody get ready. We're going to go ahead and type a name right here. I'm going to go ahead and put something funny. Let's see here. How many letters can it be? Three. Just three? Just like the classics. Okay, hold on. I got you. All right. So, so I, got, I got Jer. Oh, yeah. Well, you should put Re. Oh no, I actually got a better plan. <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hang on. Uh, dang it, doctor. That's fine. <laughs> I am a doctor. Jerry and doctor. So, this has been freaking Galaga arrangement. We got Pac Man's and freaking Dig Dug coming soon. Suggestions, 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 games. comments. What's your favorite game? Classics, and uh, even if you want, what's your favorite current game? That's a reboot of a classic. And let us know if there's anything else you want to see us play. This is Bro Motions. And like we, used, like we always say, make them number two. Peace. Peace.